Good day, everybody. Uh, today is Thursday. Whew. Um, I've been running around like a lunatic trying to get this all sorted. Um, so on Saturday, so in two days' time, I am taking my two-year-old and my four-year-old, and we are heading. We are going to be flying from Melbourne to Adelaide for two weeks to see my parents. Um, but before we fly, we have to travel by train because we live about four hours away from Melbourne. So, <sighs> excuse me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've been racing around because I want to get this video done today. Um, so this is a what's in our carry-on. Um, so I will be taking the, my GGB be right back and my boys have their backpacks there as well. So over the last few weeks, I've just been uh, collecting up little bits and bobs for the boys um, and just packing it away. And now I've actually got it pretty well sorted. Um, so yeah, let me get all set up and we'll get into it. Okay, so we're back. Um, I have my beautiful Jujube be right back in the Tokidoki print Unikiki 2.0. Um, it's a backpack style. I have done an overview of this bag and everything, so I'm not going to give a detailed review of like what's what and where and everything like that. So I'm just going to go over what's in my bag, and this is mine. This will be for me mostly. Um, so let me get straight into it. Let's try and get this video nice and short. So on this side in the bottom pocket, I have my Tupperware 750ml water bottle, and that fits absolutely beautifully there. I love it. And I love, like, it shows you how deep the bottle pockets are. The bottle pocket comes to about there, so that's quite a, a deep pocket. And in this bottle pocket, I'm going to have um, a bottle of Coke. Um, it would be iced coffee, but... Um, Milk and me plus travel don't mix, so I get sick and ugh, not nice. So let's go from the front and work our way back. So in this front flat pocket, um, I've just got my business card and my phone number just in case the bag gets lost. And in here, I don't have anything right now, but in here will be our itinerary and like airplane, like flight information and all that. So that's all in there. Mummy pocket hasn't changed much in what with what I carry. So, I don't know if you can I'll just lift that up. Okay, so in this um, elasticated print pocket, I have some mints, gum, and right down bottom is my chapstick. Uh, nothing on the key fob, and there won't be anything on the key fob. Um, we only have one car, so my husband will have the keys. So just put that away. In the sunglass holder, I will have my sunglasses in here because we will be leaving at six o'clock in the morning and it's still dark. Uh, we're in winter now in Australia, so it's dark until like 7.30. So I will have my sunglasses in here. I also have a pen. And my watch in case I feel like wearing it. And what's right down the bottom? Oh yeah, this is for my phone. It's just a little USB connector for my phone. So that's in the sunglass holder, so I'll just tuck that away as well. And then right down the bottom is this mesh pocket. So in the in here I have a small set piece in the Marquis, Marquess, Marquess. I don't know how to say it. In that print. This is a legacy print. And in here, um, if you've seen any of my TTC videos, you'll know I've got PCOS. And that means that I'm completely irregular. So in here I have... A pair of change of knickers and a pad just in case behind that in here I have my be charged whoops upside down in the Donatella sweet shop print this is this is quite a not this is a really nice print I really like it in here I have um, just cards I don't use all the time so lay by cards a store card and in here I have um, a Melbourne public transport ticket and an Adelaide public transport ticket um, they're like cards and stuff. You rip, you top them up and everything. Um, so right next to that, underneath the print pocket, I have my ouch pouch in the Anna Malini print. And in here is sort of like my um, 
first aid kit, but I use essential oils, so I have essential oils. So I have a blend for headaches, for time of the month, um, balance, which is a sort of a calm down kind of one. I have lavender and cedar wood, which are good calming ones as well. And behind that, I've got some band-aids, cotton buds, and some stickers for the boys. And behind there, again, I have a little coin purse in the Animalini print. And in here, I have a couple of KFC wet wipes and some peach tea bags, just in case I want something flavoured that's not fizzy and, or high in sugar. So that's it in the mesh pocket. That's now empty, I think. No, I have some hair ties just in case. And then right in the open space, I just have this lanyard just in case like I need to, um, I don't know, clip something. I don't know. <laughs> so that is all that was in the mummy pocket. In this pocket here, this is the felt lined uh, tech pocket. Uh, I will have my, I'll have my phone in there to start with, but I don't know. But right down the bottom, sorry, my arms in the way is my um, portable charger with its cable. And that fits so nicely right there, like standing up. Um, my phone fits next to it and I can even zip this up with my phone plugged in to the charger. So I'll leave that in there. In the top pocket here, behind the grab handle, this one here, this is just a little pocket. And in here I just have my Beast Bendy and this is also in the Unikiki 2.0 print. And yeah, it's just my, my purse. I like it up there when I'm wearing it on my back, when I'm wearing the bag on my back, because it just means it's a bit more secure for me. And then on the side here is this long change pad pocket. We no longer use a changing pad. My youngest is two, so it's just too quick to bother getting that out. But that's completely empty at the moment. I, mean, I don't think I'll put anything in there. Okay, so let's get into the bag. So this is the main compartment. And if you've watched my other videos, you'll know that it opens up like a suitcase. So right like that. So as you can see, now in this pocket here, this mesh pocket on the, on the flap, I have my new to me um, Charcoal Roses Be Light, GGB Be Light. Now I only got this yesterday and yesterday afternoon I took it out as like a mummy handbag. So I went out on my own. <laughs> So I use this and oh my goodness, it look it looks a bit smaller than what I thought. Like when I first got it, I'm like, oh that's a bit small. Uh -uh, it packs a lot. So I have this in here because we're gonna be in Adelaide. They don't have plastic shopping bags. You have to pay for them if you want them. Um so I have this just tucked in there for like if mum and I go shopping. Um but I've also got it in here because when when we get to Melbourne, um we're gonna have a few hours uh, sort of layover kind of thing so I'm gonna take the boys to the museum and they've got like a luggage storage area so I'm thinking you know I can just tuck a, a nappy my purse a packet of wipes all that in here and we, I can just carry this around rather than carrying around my the, the full full-size backpack so very handy now in these elastic pockets I have my Huggies clutch and go just got this today. Um, I just think this would be a lot handier. Um, I will have a couple of full packs of wipes in my suitcase. Um, right in front, right in the front here, I have my crochet. So it's got all my hooks and some wool. Um, I will be taking out the majority of the hooks and leaving them at home because I don't need them. I have some uh, some books for myself. I have, this was written by a friend of mine. It's called Prayers of a Mother. So it's all poems and everything that's really nice. I have a couple of journals and I have the a Joyce Meyer Battlefield of the Mind, which I got years ago and just haven't read. Okay, this is my GGB Be Quick in the Royal Envy print. It's, it is actually really gorgeous. I'm really happy with this. And in here, I have four size six nappies if you're in America. Um, if you're in Australia, these are the junior. These are the 16 to 25 kilo. They're huge. I don't anticipate going through this many. We go through like 
Jackson gets maybe two to three changes a day, depending. Um, I think he's nearly ready to toilet train, but we'll see. <laughs> um, but I've just got four there just in case, just so I've got one on me for to, for the night um, in case like lug luggage gets lost or whatever. So I've got four nappies. I also have a pull-up for Xavier. He is completely potty trained, toilet trained, sorry. Um, but he still wears a pull-up at night, so I've just got it just in case. And then I have a little spray bottle. This has uh, some coconut oil with lavender and tea tree. Jackson has a sore bottom at the moment, so we are using this. Uh, and hope, hopefully it'll help his little, little bum clear up. And then in the zipper pocket in the quick, I have trash bags, nappy trash bags, and some Dactosin, just in case his bum doesn't respond to the coconut oil. So that was all in the Be Quick. And then in this mesh pocket back here, I have a wet bag. Now, I made this myself. It was super easy. Um, but just in case, like, we have dirty clothes or anything. And now, as you'll notice, I do not have my boys' changes of clothes in here. Um, but, yeah, I've got this in here just so that I have it. Um, oh, and right at the bottom of the pack, the pocket, I have just some um, individually wrapped uh, straws, um, just in case. So I've got those. So that's all that I'm packing in my bear right back. Um, give me a minute, I will put all this away and I'll go through the fuel cell. And I'm back. Um, so separately, I'm going to be taking my GGB fuel cell. This is in the pink pinwheels print. It's really quite pretty, like it's quite a hot pink and everything. And as you may have guessed, this is just full of snacks. So I'll just show you what I'm planning on taking. So don't judge me. Four, two year old and a four year old and you just want them happy. You don't want stress. So up here in the zipper pocket, I've just got a tiny little pack of wipes. Um, for mucky hands and faces and all that. So I have right on top two packets of mini rice cakes. I have three packets of these little Dory, Finding Dory cookies that I got at Reject Shop. Um, I have two packets of tiny teddies. I'm hoping this isn't crinkling out the audio. So I have five packets of mini Oreo light type cookies. Um, we've got chocolate cookies with banana cream, chocolate with chocolate cream, chocolate with vanilla cream, <laughs> vanilla with vanilla cream, and then vanilla with strawberry. So I figured that's a nice variety. There's six cookies in a packet. It should be enough. For the three of us, it should be enough. And then I just have my little, two little square containers with a, with a few lollies in it. And these are bribery. So these are not normal snacks. These are treats and they are bribery, like to get them on the, wherever we need to go. And then right down the bottom is where I've got the healthy stuff. <laughs> so I've got two bananas and two apples. Now that is quite a lot of food. This thing packs a ton. I'm just, I've had this for four years um, and it's still, it's a bit stained, it's a bit, but it's the only fuel cell I've got and I love it and it is just awesome for packing everything. So that is what I'm carrying in my carry-on and what is going to be carried in GGB. Um, I'm going to do another separate video on my boys' carry-ons. Um, so keep an eye out for that and I'll see you later. Bye.